guys it's nikki welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be getting ready together my hair is done i'm just gonna tweak it a bit afterwards but whatever but basically we're focusing on the makeup today's theme is going to be red so i'm going to incorporate red into my makeup so let's just get right into it i'm gonna go into the brows gonna go into the anastasia dip brow in the shade a medium brown i love this one i take the elf duo eyebrow brush although the other side has fallen off so Yes, they look a little crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and carve them out and also prime the eyes with my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pop. Such a good thing. I love this stuff. Like I said, today's look is going to be a red look. I have like four palettes that I want to use, I'm thinking of using, but I don't know. So the first is going to be the Morphe 9H Hot for Hue. I was thinking of going into the corner shade, which is Big Heart. This one, that reddish orange. Then we have the Powerpuff Girls and Colourpop collection. And I was thinking of going into the shade um, Girls Rock, which is this one down here. I have the ABH Norvina um, palette and this one I was thinking of going into like D3 over here and then I have the ABH Norvina collection as well this is I think volume 2 the purple one is volume 1 so this is volume 2 and I was thinking of using the C5 shade kind of doing like you know really vibrant reds in the crease and then kind of carving the crease and then doing a deeper I don't know I don't know we're gonna see how it looks so I think to start off I'm gonna go into the Powerpuff Girls um, palette from Colourpop and take the shade Girls Rock I'm gonna take that on a nice fluffy brush and I'm gonna just apply that This palette is so good, it's so pigmented, and I love the color scheme. It's just so pretty. Love it. And I love Powerpuff Girls, so maybe I'm a little biased. Okay, so next to layer that, I'm gonna go into the Morphe 9H palette, and we're gonna take that shade Big Heart, and we're gonna apply that right on top of that. Kind of layer the reds a bit. And then the last red that I want to add in, because I want to make sure it's just vibrant and pretty. And this is like the purest red that I have, which is going to be the D3 from the Norvina Volume 2 palette next to the blue right here. Oh, I love these palettes. Like, they're ridiculous, honestly, the size, but it's just so fun. It's so fun. So we've got the red base going, basically, for the eye look. We could leave it there, but... I'm trying to be extra today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Bisque and I'm gonna carve out my lid I'm gonna find a small flat brush to kind of do that or even a brush that's like this it helps me kind of carve out the lid easier so I'm gonna use that this is a Kylie brush Carving it like so. Let me use, because these mirrors are ridiculous. Like, they're so good. I have to use it. Why am I not using it? All right. Perfecta. Okay. 
Okay, so everything is carved out. All of my hair clips are sticking to my palette. And we're gonna go back into the um, volume two palette. And I'm gonna take the C5 shade, it's like a burgundy. And I'm gonna be laying that on to the I lost all the words. I'm gonna be laying that on my lid. That was the word, lid. So we're gonna see. It is burgundy. I never had a burgundy eyeshadow. Interesting, okay. Anyways. Not something flatter. Maybe this Wet n Wild flat brush. I'm actually really loving this, okay. Take that original brush and kind of blend out the edges of that. So that it blends in nicely. I'm gonna add my wing liner, so I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Uh, jet black liquid liner I'm gonna let the liner dry and while it's drying I'm gonna start prepping the skin so I'm gonna go into my smashbacks smashbacks Okay, Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer with Vitamins B, C, and E. Love it. Oh, and prior to this, I applied my Derma E Vitamin C Serum. I'll put a picture of it. Love it. It was so good. I love it in general. But. For foundation, I'm going to go into my Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation. It's 12-hour wear, and this is in the shade Medium Neutral. Love this one. And it lasts a really long time. This tube has a lot of product. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and take the excess and just blend out any of the harsh lines or blend out anywhere I feel like I need to. I just love this technique for me personally. So especially like in the creases of my nose, I really like to go in with a sponge and just blend that out so that it doesn't get too cakey there. Then I'm going to go into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium Sand 27S. And I'm going to apply that underneath the eyes. I'm going to go on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then I'm going to use that same beauty sponge and blend that out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love Tarte Shape Tape, I really do. I love also using my e.l.f. camo, but I found my Tarte Shape Tape recently, so I'm gonna get back into her. I'm gonna go into my Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cool Beige. Another item that I really do love. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Uh, 105 brush and use that to apply my setting powder. I'm gonna really take it around my nose, my smile lines, because with the mask, that's where the makeup kind of breaks apart the fastest, so. I like to really set it so that it doesn't. I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in shade Tan, 
and apply that to the rest of the skin while wiping away that loose setting powder and the excess of it. And this combo is just a dream for flawless makeup, like, I promise. I like to take the Sephora powder down my neck because I do spread my foundation to my neck so it just kind of helps set everything and make everything look good. I'm gonna go into my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in shade Tawny Mommy. If you guys watch me know this is my favorite. I'm gonna take an angled brush and apply her. It's literally my perfect blush shade. I can't wait to order the new formula because I can never get over the shade. I can't find anything that's as good as this, like, in regards to shade-wise uh, for me, personally. I'm gonna go into my Kylie Cosmetics liner. This is Matte Nude, and I'm gonna apply that into my waterline. I just love, like, a, I love this liner in general, but I love a nude liner when you're doing these kinds of looks because I feel like it really just brings everything together. You have the really dramatic on the top and on the bottom. You have, it's a little more lightweight. Then it just really brings the look together in my opinion. I'm going to set my skin using my Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Lizzie McGuire Sing to Me Paolo Glitterly Obsessed um, Glitter. And it's just so pretty. Every time I wear it, I get like so many questions on like what it is. Looks like this. And I'm gonna take like a small brush. This is the brush that I used for it before. Just small brush. And I'm gonna apply that onto the inner corners of the eyes. Add some bling to the look. I was gonna add rhinestones, but my eyes are way too watery for that. I love the way that this is looking. I'm gonna take my Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I'm gonna apply that to the top and bottom lashes. I really like this look a lot. Ah! I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Powerpuff Girls um, blush in Saving the World. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. highlighter brush. I'm gonna apply that. I like this blush. At first I thought it was gonna be too like nudey for me too peachy but it's so pretty and actually really shows up i'm going to go into my fenty beauty kilowatt highlight this is a mo money and hustle baby i'm going to mix a little bit of the two and apply them with that same brush that we used for blush i'm mainly going into hustle baby like hustle baby is my girl i'm going to spray my face again so now we're going to move on to lips. So I'm going to use my NYX Professional um, Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Club Hopper. I'm going to go into my Stila Caramello um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and apply that in the center. What oh, loving this. Oh my god. I love this lip. These two together have been so amazing for me lately like 
I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna keep my hair the way it is today. I was thinking of adding some like little hair clips in, but I don't know how that's gonna really look, especially with my hair. Maybe up here? I can't even really. I think what I'll just do instead of the like hair clips, I'm gonna add like this butterfly hair clip to kind of tie everything together. These are from Ulta as well. And I think that'll be like a cute little look because it kind of goes with like the inner corner. Yeah, yep. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love this look. I'm actually quite obsessed. Let me know what you guys think down below. I hope it was easy and fun to watch. So don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hold up, hold up, if I lost emotions, show up, if you down to roll up.